Welcome to the FIDIC contract management channel. In this video we will explain how the employer can request variations for a FIDIC Silverbook EPC contract. This training course is proudly presented by Klinker CMC. The FIDIC Silverbook contract form is used for engineering, procurement and construction contracts which can be on a turnkey basis with a fixed lump sum price. To manage the contract in a clear and transparent way, the employer requirements should have an administration requirements section. Such document describes the obligations about which forms to use, the workflow process, meetings to be held, and reporting. This module is about the variations which the employer representative can instruct or request under Clause 13 of the General Conditions. Be aware that only a duly authorized employer's representative or an assistant with the appropriate authority can instruct or request variations. The contractor shall execute instructed variations with due expedition and without delay, unless the contractor notifies the employer that the variant work was unforeseeable or the goods cannot be obtained or it cannot comply with the health, safety and environment obligations or has adverse effect on performance guarantee or cannot comply with the fit for purpose requirement. The employee representative shall respond by either cancelling or confirming or varying the instruction for the variation. In the next section we will explain the variation process on a flowchart. The variation procedure starts in subclause 13.3.1 with the employee representative who can prepare an issue of variation by instruction. Alternatively, the employee representative can prepare an issue of variation request according to subclause 13.3.2. The contractor may, under subclause 30.2, called Value Engineering, submit a variation proposal which provides benefits to the employer, such as lower cost or shorter time. For an instructed variation, the contractor shall proceed with the execution of the variation, unless contractor issues a notice under subclause 13.1 in which the contractor states its reason or reasons why it's not able to proceed. Within 28 days after the instruction, the contractor shall submit a variation proposal to the employer representative. After receipt of a variation request, the contractor shall, as soon as practicable, prepare and submit a variation proposal or issue a notice on the subclause 13.1 in which the contractor states its reason or reasons why it is not able to proceed. The employer representative shall review contractor's variation proposal and agree or determine under subclause 3.5 the adjustment to the contract price and or the extension of time for completion. If a variation proposal is approved, then the employer representative shall prepare and issue a variation form to the contractor for signature. If the variation proposal is not agreed, then the employer representative shall make a determination under subclause 3.5. For the determination process, see the other tutorial and flowchart. The contractor shall sign and return the variation form and when the variation works are completed, inform the employer and apply for an interim payment for the variation. The employer representative shall issue a notice of interim payment after receipt of the application for interim payment for the variation. The employer representative shall use the variation request form by entering the header details about the project, the contractor and variation request numbering etc. Next, the variation request details shall be described and the related documents which are attached to the form shall be listed. For an instructed variation, the employer shall also prepare and issue an instruction form. The variation request shall be duly signed by the authorized employer representative or its assistant. The contractor shall prepare and submit a detailed variation proposal by completing the variation proposal form. Detailed price calculations, quotations from subcontractors and or suppliers shall be attached as well as the extension of time details and other relevant documentation. The variation proposal shall be duly signed by the authorized contractor representative. When the variation proposal is agreed between the parties, 
or a determination has been made by the employee representative, then the employee representative shall prepare and issue a variation form for signature. Parties shall pay attention to their notification obligations in Clause 13. If the contractor believes that it cannot proceed with the instructed variation or variation request, then the contractor has to send a notice to the employer explaining its reason or reasons. The employer representative shall respond to the contractor's notice. For good contract management, it is recommended to prepare a set of standard letters and notices which support timely responses. By the parties. The parties shall conduct regular progress meetings in which the status of the variations is discussed. The parties shall also conduct regular commercial meetings in which the variations are discussed in detail and issues are resolved. To manage, track and control the variations, the contractor shall prepare and maintain a detailed variation register which shall be included in the monthly progress report. The variation register can be expanded with more columns as required by the parties if a spreadsheet is used as tool. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like to see more FIDIC contract management tutorials. Visit our website at clinkercmc.nl